just step out of bounds. That's gonna be Rangers basketball. Wildcat bench very, very unhappy with that call. Nothing they can do, clearly at least two feet out of bounds. And we're gonna have Ranger basketball. That really quieted the sixth man as the Forest Hill Central fans are on their feet. Very, well, very exciting. Kelly bringing up the ball for the Rangers. Kelly has it, he's gonna dribble it up, being guarded by Malik Clinty. He's gonna drop it off, that's 11. To Dykema. Let's see, we got a foul though on the side, looks like Houston. We have, an, we have a foul that appears to be against the Northfield Wildcats. Crawford, his first personal foul. This could be an upset for the ages, Tannis. Like I said, fundamental basketball, no fouls. They're in the bonus now. Shooting one and one for the eighth personal foul is 22. Chad Bouchon, he throws up his first one. It's good. Bonus shot. This lead's been cut to four points. Four points. This We're just free talking throw. about double-digit lead a couple minutes ago. Bouchon will be going with his second free throw. Let's see how this goes. First shot, second shot's up. And it's good. This lead's been cut to so one, one possession. possession. Very, very exciting. Just over four minutes to go. Clincy is met by a press. Almost messed up by Tillman. Kicks Goes it off it to Crawford. And momentum has changed. Let's see what Malik Clincy can do. Malik Clincy's going to drop it in. That's another thing those ra the Rangers have to do. They have they have to control Malik Clincy. Yep. Tillman. Tillman, po questionable no call. Euchre trying to drive in the lane. Met to Kelly. Kicks out to Kelly. Tillman trying to get... Uh, a state down low. Tillman, ball, goes up with the shot. Looks like the foul will be before the shot, but they'll still go to the line for and one and one. And that foul, and Northview players, every time they get a foul, they're complaining to the refs. There's a point where you have to notice you can't change the call. Play smart. Don't give the refs anything that they could possibly call. Yeah, but um, district championship on the line. True player comes out. I, I'm okay with them talking to the refs. At least they're being respectful. As, yeah, respectful as long as they're being it. respectful and not saying anything that's inappropriate. As Tillman goes up for his bonus shots, one and one with nine personal fouls. Hughes, one more foul for the Wildcats. Double bonus. Double bonus, two shots. That's not good. You, with three two. minutes and 43 seconds left, you cannot be in, almost in the double bonus. It's just not a smart tactic. Yep, Tillman goes up with the shot. The first shot is off the mark. Crawford gets the rebound, passes it out to Kaputska, which passes it to Kalinsi. Tough defense by the Rangers, met by a double team. Kaputska slows it down. Looking to pass around the perimeter, it looks like, with no Tommy, Tommy, uh, Joan, Tommy Brown, sorry, Tommy Brown in the game. Kaputska dribbling around the lane, finds Kalinsi. Kalinsi guarded by Tillman, possible travel? Nothing, nothing no, his, call. His knee did not touch the ground, that's a great call. But big number three, Gabriel Barrick goes to save the ball, but it bounces on the line. That's out of bounds, Rangers basketball. Tommy Brown coming in, hopefully to, sh to come shut down Xavier Tillman as he's having his way down low. He's checking in for number three, that's Gabriel Barrick. Ranger basketball. Number 14, that's Connor Kelly, he's gonna bring it over the half court line. But he's going to travel. He's going to take one too many steps. Picked up the ball. Dropped it again. That's a travel. Got Malik Clincy all fired up. Yeah, it looks like they're just bringing in Tommy Brown for the defensive presence. As Barrick comes back in for the Wildcats. Looks like they have a squad that's either looking to drive or three-point shots for the win. With a little over three minutes left, anything can happen left in this game. With it being a two-possession game. Great defense by the Rangers. Rangers bring it up. Nutter to Kelly. Misses the dunk, that's number 22, Chad Bouchon. Back to Malik Clinton. Malik Clinton's gonna go up. He's gonna miss a dunk. Oh. That's one of those things you cannot do, and we're gonna have a foul. That will put him in the double bonus. Malik Two Clinton. shots, that's, All he needed was a layup to possibly secure the game. Goes Malik, up for the dunk. That could be the district championship right there. That is one of those fouls Malik Clinton cannot take. That's his second personal foul. You cannot be taking fouls like that. I'm not disappointed in the foul. I'm disappointed in him going for a dunk and being selfish and not going for the layup. As Alex Dykema, the leader of the Rangers, will be going to the line to shoot too. His first shot's up and it's good. Both, both sides right now very, very energetic. 
Very, very exciting. The Wildcats are a little silenced by uh, Malik Clinton's uh, failed dunk attempt. Coach Trevor Chalmers trying to get his team pumped up as the second shot goes up. And good for number 10. That's Dykema. Yep. Rangers are going back in with the press. Over to Kaputska. Kaputska met by the press. Possibly reaching the eight-second mark. Quincy trying to get the ball up court. Finds Barrick off. Barrick throws it off number 22. Chad Buchan. And it will stay with the Wildcats. Very, 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 very smart play as the Wildcats are going to call a 30-second timeout. Alex, how do you picture the last two minutes and 35 seconds going mentally and tempo-wise? Tillman, that's all I have to say. Tillman, because I can see the look in Mal Malik Clincy's face. He, he knows what he did. He's obviously disappointed. He knows that could have been the game. And I'm not sure if he can mentally come back from a big mistake like that. As we hear the Wildcats do a I believe speech, trying to pump up their fellow Wildcats, hopefully cheering them to a district championship. Malik Clint is a very, very hungry player. He plays with that enthusiasm every coach wants to see out of a player. Xavier Tillman is going to have his hands full. Okay. Yep. And the timeout is over. And look of excitement from both sides of the crowd. Clapping from both sides. Being a very intense game. This, this is one of those games you don't want to see a winner and you don't want to see a loser. You just hope it's a tie and they can share it. And there's going to be a foul called. Off the ball foul, possibly on Dykema. Sam. That'll be on Sam Euchre, but hey, you know four. what? You can't really complain about that. They still have four fouls to give until they're in the bonus. They have plenty of room to play with. The score being 52, Northfield, and 49, for So Central. Anything can happen. Xavier Tillman with a steal. No. no. Loose ball. Loose ball. Loose ball. Who has it? It's going to be possession, Northfield. Northfield is going to maintain possession. Very, very intense. Tillman playing his heart out. Freshman, very good instincts, knowing when to get to the ball, when he has the opportunity of even getting to the ball. As the refs shine up the ball a little bit, getting a little sweaty over there. Let's see. The Rangers are starting off in a press as Malik Clincy is trying to bring the ball up court. I would really, really like to see Malik Clincy and uh, Xavier Tillman matched up against each other. And that basket's going to be no good as there's going to be a foul in number 23. Connor Crawford will be going to the line for the Wildcats. Oh, let's see. Let's see what we have here. It looks like Tommy Brown's coming in knowing that they'll be going to the other side of the, other side of the court. And he'll be defending the one and only Xavier Tillman. Connor Crawford, leader of the Wildcats, will be going to the line. Shooting two. His first shot is... Good. Makes it a two possession game for the Wildcats. Very, very, very crucial. Very, very, very crucial. key point for the Wildcats with just over two minutes and 15 seconds to go in this game. It's one of those points where you practice and practice. You need to make these in order to win. Yep, the six man with their hands up. Leader, Connor Crawford at the line. Second shot is off the mark. Rebounded by number 22, Chad Bouchon. Number 14, that is Connor Kelly's going to drive it in, drop it off to number 10, Alex Dykema, and we're going to have a foul. And it appears to be on number 23, Connor Crawford. They're going to go to the line and two, shoot two shots. This is not good news for, sorry, for the Wildcats. Over 10 fouls if they already. Make, if they make these two shots, they're down by two points. A three-pointer, a little harder to make than a two-pointer. Let's see if number 22, Chad Bouchon, can come up big for the Rangers. First, First shot's good. Yeah, and it's good. Checking in for the Wildcats, that's number three, Gabriel Barrick. Down low in the post, looking for the rebound is number 15. That is Xavier Tillman. And for the Wildcats, it's number three, Gabriel Barrick. Two big boys looking for a rebound. If he misses the shot, hopefully he doesn't. Throws it up. No good. rebound needed as he's going to make both free throws. Quincy brings up the ball, up court, trying to get a fast-paced game. Loses possession, loses possession. Johnny Nutter and Xavier Tillman running up the court. Slows it down. Dykema taking charge. Dykema. Back to Nutter. Down to Xavier Tillman. Sloppy pass. Malik Quincy, Quincy breaks it up. Pass out to no man's land. And we're going to have foul. a very, very, very unsmart foul. That's going to go against number three, Johnny Nutter. You cannot take fouls that like that. 
That's his third personal foul. You cannot take fouls like that. What, even though you guys only have five fouls, you're not in the bonus, you need to leave room so just in case you need to foul. I'm okay with it. It was He was going for a loose ball. He was uh, throwing everything up on the line. I'm okay with that foul if I'm uh, Coach George. But the Wildcats will try to bring up the ball with uh, Kaputska bringing it up for the Wildcats. Met by a press, though, by the Rangers. They rotate the ball to Malik on the other side of the court. Malik picks up his possession. Crawford. Crawford doesn't know what to do. Clincy and Crawford exchanging screens. Another screen for Clincy as the ball gives back to Kaputska. Looks like they're just trying to hold out the ball as long as they can since it's only a two-point lead. Kaputska. Five second, the clear five second call. There a we five go. Five second violation, and it's going to be Rangers basketball only down by two points. As Big Tommy Brown's checking in for the Wildcats, it is exciting in the red in the Hawks' nest tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Tillman, 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 Tillman. That's who it needs to go to in this possession. Tillman, and the person to get him there will have to be Johnny Nutter. Everyone's on their feet. It's very, very exciting. Tillman down low with the two-point two shot. It's good. And we're tied here in the Hawks' nest. 53. It should be 53-53. Over, just over a minute. A minute and 12 seconds to be exact. Very, very, very exciting for one side. The Rangers side. Very, very exciting. Everyone's on their feet. They're dancing. They're cheering. On the other side, a face of questionable. What happened to our double-digit lead that's now zero? Yeah, but uh, they need to get on their feet. They need to get loud. They need to support. They need to sh This is now or never. As a student section leader myself, you have to come out. Six man right now. They have possession. They can get back in this game. They can win this game. But they need their fan support behind them in order to believe in themselves as well. Let's see what the Wildcats draw up. What, what, do, you, what, what do you think the Wildcats are going to do? They just got to get the crowd pumped up. They need to get the crowd to feed Malik Clincy, an attention needer. You get him fired up. You get everyone fired up. Yep. You I have a ball game. I see five shooters on the court. I said Clincy drives it in, kicks it out to one of the shooter, get a three-point shot. Hopefully he goes in. Very close FC, to the five-second. FC. That's going to be out of bounds. It's going to remain with the Wildcats. FHC is leading a hard press with Tillman in the back with a defensive. He's literally a rim stopper. He can be down there, lead blocks, his pure athletic ability. Looking to intercept the ball, possibly. Two on one break. Crawford to Tillman. Tillman breaks up the pass. Dykema takes control of the ball. Tillman. You got to be smart here. You can't take dumb fouls during the double bonus. Tillman was shrieking, calling for the ball. Tillman Cedar wants drops it. it off to Tillman. Tillman's going to drop it off to that number 20. We're under a minute here at Cedar Springs. Euchre. It'll be interesting to see if they hold it for the last shot here. I don't think they will. Let's see, we got some we got some cuts, nothing to no avail. We got Euchre up top. Uh, under 40 seconds, tie game. Tillman wants the ball to be switched over to him. Very he exciting. has it. Tillman kicks it back out to Euchre. Euchre to Nutter. This is Nutter dribbling around the perimeter. We're under 30 seconds here at Cedar Springs High School. Very exciting. Everyone's on their feet now, everyone's cheering. It's very, very exciting here. Under 20 seconds. Clinchley orchestrating, he wants his defense. To get aggressive now, 15 seconds, under 15 seconds. This we got bad. Nutter to Euchre. It'll be interesting Euchre. to see if they call a timeout here. To Nutter, Nutter doesn't know what to do. Five seconds, Dykema with the two point shot for the win. No. Just off the mark, two, one. Barrick with a wild shot. And it's gonna go short. We're going to overtime. And Malik Clinty, the face of disbelief, weirded my